Alright, here's a review that I've been meaning to start for a long time now. Uh, I know I've asked uh, people before uh, between the MP5 and the MP7 uh, which one they want me to review and most of the people selected MP5 and uh, here it is. Here's the MP5 I have and as you can see I have added a dual Mac for this thing. It's basically a dual Mac clamp I got at uh, you know, Soft Extreme. And uh, basically what you do is uh, pull this thing down, pull this thing like that, and then slide out the two magazines. And uh, these are these are not the ones that uh, came with the with the the MP5. These are the ones that I bought extra. Um, they're just regular plastic ones uh, for few use uh, for few usage. Um, I believe they hold about. 60 or 70 rounds each, I'm not quite sure. And uh, what I do is uh, I line them up pretty much evenly, one up, one top, one bottom, and then clamp it on. So, like that. And then once I finish shooting, flip it around. There you go, start shooting again. So then, this it. And uh, so let's start this review here. This is the <clears throat> the classic army uh, BT5 with tactical light which is um, if it's a real com counterpart it would be the MP5 with the tactical light and uh, it doesn't seem to want to work. Oh, there you go. There's the light. Sorry about hitting you guys with it. But, uh, there's a pad right here for light like grip. God damn it. Yeah, the light is weird. Doesn't seem to. Doesn't uh, want to work once in a while. And it's not working now. Oh, it works. Actually. Let's see if I press here. Like, we'll turn on. Something's iffy about this thing. But, oh well. And uh, I also attached it a little short rail up here and this thing is also separate you have to buy it separately and uh... yeah so let me put the magazine back in here flip it over here put it down here talk a little bit about the weapon it's a classic army like i said before it's a full metal body with the metal retractable stock which is right here it the retractable stock just uh, push this lever to the side push this lever to the side then retract the folding stock collapsible stock and then a flashlight foregrip uh, with a six volt light and uh, it takes those uh, camera batteries which are these these little batteries <clears throat> it takes two of them these aren't cheap batteries either they're actually pretty expensive lithium batteries and the ones I have here is a Sanyo CR123A lithium batteries so let's put this on for now and it's got a reinforced gearbox and shoots uh, 0.2 gram BBs and the FPS it's about um, 270 to 280 and uh, let's get a closer look at the weapon itself and here's a closer look at the MP5 the Airsoft MP5 and there's the rail that I added And there's the sight. And the collapsible stock. The frame itself is made out of plastic, just like the real one. And uh, now it's on safety. 
single action and full auto and uh I'll let you guys hear it and this is electric so it sounds it's gonna sound different than a gas there's the auto and that's the single shot all right let's put it back on safety and here's the dual mag that I got for it And here's a uh, point for the sling. Here's a point for the sling. And the battery's housed inside here. And it's one of those uh, uh, smaller types of batteries, which I'll show in a second. And, uh, you just have to remove this pin right there. Oh, I'll just actually just push this pin out pin is out there's the battery small connector right there 7 cells battery and here's the grip Oh yeah, battery's up. <laughs> and when you pull this lever down, lock it in place. It shows the hop up, hop up adjustments right there. Let's see, let's see, it says hop on it. Right there, hop up adjustment. And if this is a real weapon, this would actually move back and forth as you're shooting. And then this is when you're out of out of bullets. And then you slap on a second magazine, and then you pop that down. And uh, here's another look at the rail that I put in the mini rail. That is, if you want to attach a a scope on top you'll definitely need that then to do so attach your scope whatever you want there you go lock it back up now your mp5 have a scope on it It makes this uh, airsoft even cooler with the scope on. And there's one more look at the MP5. It's a tactical light. And it definitely sound, sounds a whole lot different than a, um, than a um, gas. You hear that gear moving actually. That gearbox actually moves. You can actually hear it. With uh with the gas rifles, you don't really hear that. You just hear uh well it depends on what you're getting. Uh I got um the G thirty nine I got recently. It's an open bolt system. So you you actually hear the metal hitting each other. Sounds really cool. Way better than these uh uh electric uh AEG, so So yep, there you have it. And uh, here's the size difference between the MP5 and the well, the M whatever they call it, in the, in the airsoft world, but the, in the real world, the MP5 versus the G36, and just for good measures, uh, and the M4, A1. Well, let me extend the stock on the M4 first. Everything's extended, and uh, don't count the the suppressor because uh, that's a add-on, just not a real weapon. So, yep, and uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching.